In 655, Mercia was invaded and defeated wholeheartedly in war with Northumbria. The Mercian king was slain, and Oswiu was crowned the king of both Northumbria and Mercia. Three years later, Oswiu was still the king of Northumbria, but Mercia had reasserted itself as an independent power. Wolfhera, the newly crowned Mercian king, was the son of Penda and was another member of the Iclingus dynasty. Through war with the West Saxons, he managed to wrest control of much of the Thames Valley area. This was just the first of a century-long series of wars and diplomatic decisions that would turn Mercia from the border people to the most powerful political presence in Britain since the Romans. How did Oswiu fail to absorb Mercia? Did he not want Mercia, or was he simply unable to take it? What did Mercia do in the 8th century that Oswiu couldn't in the 7th? And what happened to Mercian power? The process of conquering another kingdom is logistically simple. To conquer Mercia, Oswiu had to demonstrate numerical or tactical superiority. Killing their king, Penda, had asserted Oswiu's right to take Mercia's land. But overpowering a kingdom doesn't only give the conqueror land. Oswiu had also conquered the Mercian people, peasants and nobles, with established networks of communication and personal allegiances to each other. The people in Mercia would not be thrilled at the prospect of a foreign king claiming to be their superior. As Oswiu was a Northumbrian, he had little legitimacy to meddle in the affairs of the Mercian kingdom. Oswiu understood that a united Mercia would quickly act against him, and it would cause another costly war. So when the peace was won, Oswiu had Mercia split into two parts. There was the southern part, which would be ruled by Penda's son, Piada. Piada had pledged allegiance to Oswiu and was giving him regular tribute. The northern part would be Oswiu's to rule directly. It would slowly be absorbed into a wider Northumbria. This plan quickly failed. Piada was killed the next Easter, barely five months after being placed into his position. Oswiu was left with the choice of attempting to rule directly or facing a hostile power on his southern border. He tried to rule directly, which led in 658 to Wolfhera's rise. Oswiu still claimed tribute from Wolfhera, but his right to meddle in Mercian affairs was difficult to enforce without another costly war. To Oswiu, southern expansion was therefore lost. Wolfhera was empowered. He had legitimacy to do as he pleased, and as such, he had repelled the West Saxons from the Thames Valley, and he quickly accrued influence in the kingdoms of Kent and Lindsay. By the end of Wolfhera's reign, Mercia was the biggest kingdom in the British Isles. They spanned from Wales to the Fens, and from the kingdom of Lindsay down to the Huichi. Two kings after him, Ethelbald in 716 and Offa in 757, ruled Mercia for 80 years between them. In the same period, Northumbria had 11 kings. Mercia's comparative political stability allowed them to have long stretches of time in which they could influence and absorb their neighbours. In the way that Oswiu could not, they began a process of slow annexation of many of the kingdoms that they had influence in. Minor kingdoms like Lindsay and the Huichi, and major kingdoms like Kent and East Anglia were absorbed. As early as 731, Ethelbald was written by Bede as the King of Britain south of the Humber, a title which probably also applied to Offa. Offa oversaw absorption of Kent and East Anglia, with methods of which we have evidence. Land grants in Kent and East Anglia were signed by both their local king and signed by Offa as King of Mercia. He was the final authority. He was their overking. Coins were also circulated that featured Offa's face and name. If as East Anglia did in 792, subkings issued their own coins, or if, as Kent did in 784, subkings issued their own land grants, they were very quickly <coughs> without a head. But shortly afterwards, Mercian power was undermined. Vikings had destroyed whatever political frameworks were in place in Mercia. This coupled with the rising star of Wessex, Mercia was again split into two. One half was ruled by Vikings, and the other half was ruled by Ethelfled. And though Ethelfled, together with Edward the Elder, had conquered back the Danish parts of Mercia, Danes who submitted were allowed to keep their lands. Wolfhera, Ethelbald, and Offa's Mercia had faded away, and soon Mercia itself would go the same way. Mercia was gone as an administrative unit, and as local identity. <laughs>